Uh, yeah, what's up, people? So today we talk DJ Khaled. Uh, is DJ Khaled just extra? Is DJ Khaled just doing too much nowadays? You know, is DJ Khaled just trying to be relevant in the sneaker culture? Or is he authentic? Is this really how DJ Khaled is, you know? Just being so extra with sneaker stuff. And yo, 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 I'm not judging the homie because I'm extra too, you know? But DJ Khaled extra? I don't know, I don't know. Our next conversation, we talk about what is the cut off date for wearing Jordans? I have a pair of Jordans, <laughs> yes, and I don't know if I could pull them off oh, yeah, yeah. just because of the age. Yeah, I'm 50. What do you I, think is the cutoff? What would you do? I would. I'm gonna say 40. Is it 35? Is it 29? You know, what is the cutoff date for fresh sneakers? Like, when you reach a certain age, should you stop wearing sneakers? Is there an expiry date? for rocking sneakers. Should you just join Team Flosham? Team Kurt Geiger? Team Grasshopper? You know, like, let me know. And then we talk all the dope fresh sneakers dropping in South Africa this week? This week? Ooh, some nice things dropping this week. So make sure to stay tuned and you know what to do already. Make sure to hit me up on all social media platforms so all the cool kids can stick together. Let's kick it. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah. So, oh, my people, we're going to have to go in with DJ Khaled right now because DJ Khaled is doing too too much if you haven't seen him already you're on social media yo if you don't follow him you're on social media yo what are you doing with your life fellow sneakerhead you need to follow this guy so this guy is just super extra if you know dj Khaled, you know he's always doing too much you know congratulations you played yourself i hope your sneakers last forever for you Wow. And do yourself the biggest favor, <laughs> bow down. I don't know, like for his age, because I'm thinking, hey, DJ Khaled is actually an uncle, you know, he's already gray and stuff like that. I don't know, like, is he trying to be uh, relevant in the sneaker culture? Is he trying to be relevant with the young people? Because he is a musician and he needs to be relevant at all times. Or is he just calculated? Is he a genius? Is he just calculated by doing these things when he knows maybe he has an album that's coming soon? Uh, uh, uh. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think of DJ Khaled. But when I saw him, or when rather when I saw this post right here, I was flabbergasted. Homie had his bodyguards carrying him, as you can see right here, to his performance stage thingy at a festival or some sort or something like that so i don't know for some people some people are saying it's it's kind of cringe you know it's, it's 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 a little it's cringe it's cringe you know getting some two big black guys to carry him you know over there but some people are like yo this is light-hearted this is just dj Khaled being dj Khaled you know and uh i think he was promoting the sneaker right here which is the uh jordan 3 belvin belgian you know that rapper uh also a rapper uh right here this is the second colorway of the sneaker right here so tell me what do you think about the sneaker and what do you think of dj khaled's antics you know being extra and yo don't get me wrong i'm not against him being extra i'm extra you know so i'll you know i just want to know i just want to know from you the cool kids what do y'all think comment down here below and tell me what you think ah speaking about uncles and gray hair what is the cut of age 
for Jordans, you know, for looking like wearing sneakers, like hype sneakers or just fresh sneakers. Tell me, what do you think is the cut of date? What age is too old to be wearing Jordans? <laughs> uh, uh, I got hope I'm old. Well, you got Hoka, yeah, you got the, you got the uh, senior citizen Jordan. Exactly, yes. <laughs> exactly. Hoka's and Ons, yeah. right? Yeah. 65 and over. Just slip oh. your feet into them. I'm not saying you're 65. Oh, okay. I'm just saying maybe you're a little early on it. But I have a, I have a pair of Jordans, yes. and I don't know if I could pull them off oh, yeah, yeah. just because of the age. Yeah, I'm 50. What do you I, think is the cutoff? What would you do? I would, I'm going to say after 40, that's it. I think we retired to, to Shut Jordan. Up. Me personally, I think, actually if I have to keep it 100 with you guys, you know, when I was growing up, I always thought, yo, you know, there was this uncle in our neighborhood, you know, and he always had the freshest kicks, you know, and even how, uh, even though he was uh, uh, in his elderly age, but he just, I don't know, was it probably his kids that's giving him these sneakers or it's just his taste. But this uncle here was just smooth. You know, those kind of smooth uncles, you know, the uncle had a Lacosta and I'm not talking about those ugly shaped Lacosta. Like this was actually a fresh Lacoste sneaker, you know, and it was nice, bro. You know, in our hood, we were like, yo, uncle, uncle, those kicks, uncle. But uncle was too fresh. Uncle was too fresh. He was like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so tell me, what is your cut off date? Because me personally, like I said, I had that uncle in my neighborhood. It was super fresh, who inspired me. And I always told myself, when I'm an opa, nkulu, a taima, I'm going to be the freshest timer you've ever seen but we just completely leave sneakers you know and go to the flosham because you know there is timers and uncles you know and opas it's rocking the floshams you know and the flosham swag is like a dope swag or is the flosham trend a uh, 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 old trend of old people and we have now a new generation of old people who prefer like crocs uh sneakers you know because it does make sense think about it if you're getting older you would prefer something more comfortable on your foot and i think like a sneaker or a croc or you know those kind of stuff a slide would be more comfortable for an old person so me personally i think or i'm leaning to there's no cut off date we're gonna be fresh for life for life for life we gonna be fresh with these kicks. So if you see me at 70 years old, rocking my J's or rocking my Yeezys or rocking whatever other sneakers uh, uh, there is, you know, let, let, uh, funk tips, funk tips. That's what we say, you know, funk tips, meaning, meaning catch tips, you know. South Africa, stand up. These are the sneakers dropping this week, you know. Make sure to get you one of these, you know, to look fresh this winter that's coming, you know. Or just save them and rock them when summer breaks out again. Because you know this sneaker collection right here. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. What do we have? Ha! So the first sneaker that's dropping is the Nike Air more up tempo. This is the 96 dark smoke gray. As you can see, the sneaker really dope. You know, you can't go wrong with the up tempo. You know, it's really, you know, uh, a sneaker of the 90s. It's a symbol of the 90s. You know, with the air bubble, the air unit, as they call it, and that air just printed on the side of the sneaker. A definite classic. You cannot go wrong with this sneaker right here it will be releasing at shelf life yeah 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 yeah. that's shelf life uh on the 8th of march i think that's this friday uh this week yeah this is all the sneakers is dropping this week and i think so far this one is fire this one is fire i wouldn't mind but you know you know this one is fire Woo! And then for the OGs, you know, the OG sneaker heads, you know, this is a basketball sneaker, undoubtedly 
a, a sneaker for the culture. This one here. This is the Nike LeBron 4. This one is called the Fruity Pebble. Yeah, the Fruity Pebble. This one right here is a sne a OG sneaker heads with dream. This sneaker right here. Super fresh, super slept on, you know, but so so dope. You know, this one will be releasing the 7th of March, which is this Thursday, this week, and it will be available on the Nike website, which is the Nike sneakers website. Yeah, yeah. The next drop is the Jacumus. Ooh, I hope I didn't butcher that. The Jacumus X Nike J Force One Low. This is the LX uh, Earth uh, in the Earth colorway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sneaker right here, for me personally, it's a hard pass, you know? The thing is about the stitch pattern thing is just a trend, or for me, it's just a trend. And buying sneakers, which is just on trend, is kind of dangerous because in in a year's time, maybe not even in two months' time, will you still love this sneaker? Or will it be like, ah, oh, I just bought it because it was trendy, you know? But enough of that. This sneaker, for all those who want this sneaker and love this sneaker, this sneaker will be available Thursday, uh, that's 7th March, also in this week. And it's everywhere at Lemkas. Yeah, for the Jordan fans, you know, are you still out there? <laughs> You know, uh, Jordan has been falling off, you know. Uh, most of the sneaker culture has been, uh, you know, uh, putting space against them and the Jordans, you know. Because, you know, all the kids are on the Jordans right now. So, yeah. Um, this Jordan right here is a women's exclusive right here. This is the Air Jordan 1 Women's High Cacao. I hope I said that right. The Cacao Wow. That's the sneaker's name, the Cacao Wow and Sand Drift colorway. That's the colorway, the Cacao Wow and the Sand Drift colorway. Ooh, what a mouthful. But this sneaker right here, it's fresh, you know, it's kind of nice, you know, it has like a suede finish, uh, mixed with a little bit of nubuck, you know, it's just, it's nice, it's nice. This sneaker's it's nice for the ladies. You can't go wrong with this sneaker. It's like, you don't know, is it orange or is it like a soft dust pink? You know, it's just, it's just nice. It's just nice. That's what it is. It's nice. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Do, does, do you think Jordan will still rule the game in this year, 2024? Or has Jordan fell off? I want to know what you think. Comment down here in the comments down below. This baby right here, which I think in this week is the, the best sneaker dropping this week, is this one right here. This is the Nike Women's Zoom Vomero 5. The, the, woo, the Vomero 5 has been gaining traction. This sneaker is actually kind of dope, you know? You know, you know, it's looking kind of nice, but this one is a woman's exclusive. Ah, oh, the woman, woman always get the best ones. Why, Nike? Why, Nike? As you can see, very soft, very nice, you know? This, you know, this is for the ladies. This is to make sure, you know, the ladies are soft, you know? The, the ladies are looking good. The ladies are soft nice with this one so ladies you can get this one uh let's drop tuesday 5th march uh this week that passed right now you can still check on the nike sneakers app to see are they still available uh right there make sure to catch them real quick because these ones are soft and nice so this is the nike woman's air max one also very nice this one one of my top five releasing this week is this one the nike woman's air max one valentine's day oh these are the official valentine's day sneaker right here oh okay okay i see you nike i see you hey nike was real quick with this one you are Woo, these are nice these are nice mm, wait a minute. Mm, okay okay nice detail hot on the swoosh you know the brown that cream it's just this is ticking all the hints of pink you know it's touching all the right buttons this one you know this one this one is for the ladies i say ladies i say ladies get yourself this pair yeah and then we're ending with a nice one this is also a nike 
MX Wonder SC Cacao Wow and Dusted Clay. Cacao Wow and Dusted Clay. Huh? Who comes up with these names at night? Huh? Cacao Wow and Dusted Pink. Anyway, these are those. Yeah. The, this Air Max here is fresh. This is nice, as you can see, clean colorway. But uh, this one is also dropping in men's sizes. So we good, brothers, if you wanna rock this one, you know, you good, you know, it's, it's nice, it's nice, you know? Some nice leather, looks real premium, that leather, you know? A nice quality as well, like, hmm. You can't go wrong with the Air Max. Air Max, you know, if you know me, you know Air Max and Yeezys are like the top tier of sneaker design. You know, the best designers uh, designed the Air Max and uh, the Yeezys. So this right here is a definite easy cop, this one. If you want to buy this one, buy this one. You're going to be killing them with the style when getting this baby right here. So yeah, are these sneakers classic or dope enough to get? Or which sneaker would you rather get in this list right here and if you're not getting them let me know why aren't you getting them is it too expensive because you know ah, these prices right here <laughs> hey man it's it's not easy being a sneaker here that's all i'm saying these days it's not easy being a sneaker here woof, woof. nah so yeah 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 Make sure to hit me up on all social media platforms uh, so the cool kids can stay together. Holla at your boy. So yeah, that's been Joe. And thank you for tuning in right here. Thank you for watching the full video. I'll catch you on the next video. For now, peace. I'm out.